Hi guys, it's Tara Reed. You're watching Joe and Marie all day, all night. YouTube family. Hi, and welcome back to another episode of What Didn't Make Our Shelf. This is episode number 29. Oh, we did a few. A couple. This is what didn't make the shelf for the month of May, and there is nine titles. Stay tuned for the last one because it's a surpriser. But anyway, mm -hmm. we're going to get right into the first title. Cinco de Mayo. We watched on May 1st. Yeah, I bought... Or Cinco de Mayo Day. Yeah, I bought this from Zach Dahlia a while ago. This was actually from 2013. It is 71 ridiculous minutes. Uh, all night long, now I'm going to say. <laughs> there's a little scene that's, uh, it's more of like an intermission where this lady comes on and she's like, all night long. If you know, you know. Mm -hmm. But, um, annoying, uh, cheesy slasher, low budge, where this man is teaching some students about... Mexico. Mexico heritage and culture. Mm -hmm. And the American students and then the professor sees a psychiatrist and he's say oh just kill them okay so he's going out and kill people mm -hmm. do you have anything else you want to say um yeah it was pretty much what she said you know it was uh that is what I said yeah pretty much what you said but he just the the teacher kind of loses it just because nobody's paying attention in his class and he, you know, he's having problems with one of his neighbors, so he just goes on, like, a big killing spree, A much. big cheesy killing spree, low yeah. buds. And then, another thing about this movie, in the middle, there's an intermission. Literally. Yeah, of another film, and what was it called? Do you remember? It was some ridiculous drinking film. No, it was the one about the running. dancing. Oh, the dancing, the all night long? Oh, yeah. There was this, like, five-minute film about... Or maybe 10 minutes about... Ballet? People okay. dancing. Yeah. And people dancing. It was kind of stupid. They turned into... Kind of stupid. It was stupid. Okay, it was very stupid. Sorry. I was trying to be nice. But um, it, they I'm turned, not, they turned because... into zombies and it really... It, it was like... What it is... ended abruptly. Yeah, exactly. It was just so odd. But yeah, this movie... No, it didn't. It definitely didn't make our show. I gave it a one because you can understand the story yeah. more than some of the others I'll mention here. I give it a 1.5 just because of the Ooh. pure ridiculousness of the film. And All night long, it yeah. seemed to go. 71 minutes, it seemed like it was 171 minutes. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah. But anyway, That's Cinco de Mayo. De Mayo. It sinks. Oh, yeah. Right down to Mayo. <laughs> Clinic. I know, I'm telling you. Right down to the clinic. Anyway, this next one is Night of the Animated Dead. I must live under a rock because I haven't seen the original Night of the Living Dead. But this is from 2021. It is 71 minutes long, which was an okay time. It didn't seem too long or too short. But I don't know the story of the film, but basically it's about these zombies attacking these non-zombies. And it had a good story. It kept me watching, but that end, I just don't want to mention it, but I was disappointed in the end, and it disappointed me, so it threw it right off the shelf for, for me. Um, the letdown ending, I gave it a 0 0.5. I did not watch it. I'm not the biggest animated fan when it comes to animated films in general. It's just With never been... Slip. I already showed that. I know, but it's a mint slip in case you're I don't know. interested. <laughs> but I'm not a big animated guy, period, with pretty much anything animation. So I pretty much just stayed away from it. I better so. watch the original Night of the Living Dead. Yeah. But we this own it. one panned like two minutes of quietness on this man. Slow process of what was happening without spoil, spoil, spoil. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. Check out the cheese if you like it. And there you go. This next one should be put in a black hole because it was just... Dollar Tree Special. Dollar Tree Special. And it is... 
The black hole. The black hole. With it Dean was, Cain. Yeah, sorry, Dean Cain. But um, this was, um, well, first of all, it's from 2015, and it's 111 minutes, and it seemed like it was 222 minutes. Um, just nonsense. You couldn't really follow the story between past, future, and present. They just and what was, shoved them all together. And what was dreamlike and what was reality? It was just... Who's who? Yeah. What, what it, happened? What are you comparing this to? It what? just keeps on jumping. We we watched this, I think, like last Sunday. Uh, and it just jumped back and forth all over the place from dream to reality, past, present, future. And you're like, what the f is going on? Horrible CGI. It was just altogether trash. Me, I like disaster films, and that's why I picked up the Dollar Tree special. But it wasn't even a disaster. The story film. was a disaster. Yeah, that's what was the disaster. You know, I was shocked that Dean Cain and Malcolm McDowell both did this film because it was. Just... That's why I wanted to see it, but I'm going to use my term. It was a mindfuckery of garbage to it me. It was complete. Even... Sorry, Dean Cain, but. It was yeah. super low budget. Not our bag, but hey, if you liked it, leave a comment down below and let yeah. us know. You're missing out, Marie and Joe. What'd but anyway. You, what'd you give it? I gave it a big. Wait. One, because of Dean King. I, I generally like him. He's in a lot of Christmas and dog movies. I gave it a big fat zero. This is one that I'm not even going to rank. Well, it didn't give a negative. No. I, I'm not even going to rank it as anything because it's, it was that bad. Sitting. It was a complete waste of my time. I I literally checked out five minutes into the film. I'm and I'm like, no, nope, I'm going to watch it and I, see what happens. I sat and watched through the whole thing, but I was just completely zoned out. Not even caring. But anyway, moving on. This next one is a DVD. Is it a Dollar Tree? It's a Dollar Tree special. It is a Dollar Tree special. And it's got a lovely cast. And it's See You in... Valhalla. Valhalla. As I almost knock you out. A Family's Love for a Final Farewell. But this is from 2015. It's 82 minutes. It wasn't too long or too short. Um, Sarah Hyland is pretty good in it. I, I liked her in it. Uh, it's an odd story of a crazy family uh, coming together over a sad loss. It's kind of devastating what happens, but it, it's very sad. But there was um, some fun moments, some ridiculous parts, but a crazy family coming together over sad moments. And it says, you don't get to choose your family. So there's a variety of different kinds of people in here. Mm-hmm. But it, it was a lot of fun at one point. And uh, something around the bow and arrow scene. But Yeah, I watched this pretty much right when we got it from Dollar Tree. This is one of the first like Dollar Tree waves when I picked that up. This when is you didn't like, know any better. Yeah, this was, <laughs> yeah, when I didn't know anybody, this was early, early Dollar Tree pickups. When you were going OD on the DT. Exactly. <laughs> But uh, I watched it. I didn't really. It was okay for the for a one time watch, but it's not anything I would re revisit. I enjoyed this, but it's a one time watch. But I did give it a two. Yeah, I, I gave it a deuce. I I'll give it a two as well. I thought it was okay one time watch. All right, cruising but right this along. Next one. We got nine titles to go through, so I'm kind of giving you the quick gist. But this next one, oh boy. You can introduce this one. This one is Infinity Pool. Infinity Pool. On if DVD you haven't with seen it, you should go in blind. We went in blind. Yeah. But this is from 2023, and it's 118 minutes. It could have been. If it, it felt like it was like a hundred, like 105 minutes, it didn't seem that long. But no, it went kind of fast. It but went pretty quick for the confusion, and it felt like. Um, it was disturbing deja vu, basically, yeah. to me. And I don't want to say too much about it, but if you like The Possessor, you'll like Infinity Pool. Yeah. And if you're like Michelle, you'll go with her. And I went with Michelle, and I didn't really like it either. But uh, Ken and Michelle over at Married with Media did a nice review of this. A little more in-depth chit-chat, but yeah. Yeah. I, I'm a big fan of Cronenberg films. I really like... You know, video drone. I liked the brood. Um, I liked his son's uh, movie, The Possessor. So I like a lot of those quirky, kind of weird movies. Mindfuckery. 
Yeah. But yeah. my biggest, I thought Alexander Skarsgård from True Blood, and he's in um, Straw Dogs, the remake. He's a really good actor. I really liked him in the movie. It was good. Mia was Goth, good. I just, to me, I don't like her. I, I don't know why. I liked her in X. Pearl, I couldn't stand her. I, I really did not like that movie because mm -hmm. that's all Maxine I'm really not looking forward to. Yeah, he did a really good job in that. But Mia Goth, I'm just not the biggest fan of. And to me, if, she, if it was... Yeah, Alexander. If it was uh, casted differently and she wasn't in it, I probably would have kept it. I probably wouldn't have upgraded it to Blu-ray. Yeah, I still would have gotten rid of it. I would have probably kept it. But you can definitely rewatch this a second time and probably pick out little things here yeah. and there. So uh, give it a watch if you have it. I think the story was. I thought. I thought the story was good. I just my biggest issue with it was me off. I'm like, wait, what? What just happened? Yeah. When you first watch it, the first like couple of uh, acts or scenes will get you. Yeah, it kept me. It kept me intrigued throughout the whole yes. entire film. The ending was interesting. Yeah. Sad. What'd you give it? I gave it a 1.5. I would have gave the film. A three, yeah. If Mia Goth wasn't in it, but because she was in it, I'm gonna give it a big fat two and a half. What about this next one? You can uh, introduce this one. This next this one, one has Tom Hanks in it and, and Susan Sarandon and, and Halle, Halle Berry. Berry. Great and cast. It is that got me wanting to watch it. Cloud Atlas. But don't let that fool you. Yeah. The actors and the actress could not save it. That uh, <laughs> this no. is from 2000. Nope. I'm ready to turn the page. Uh, this is from 2022. It's 172 minutes, which seemed like it was uh, 272 minutes. It was like long to me. It's 172 minutes. 2012. 2012. You said I 2022. Stand. I'm like, that's this is not a new movie. I stand corrected. I can't read my own writing. Mm -hmm. But anyway, thank you. This is why he gets paid the big bucks. We don't do get in your face that often. There we go. Your head's kind of too big. No. There you go. Perfect. Ah, wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> but anyway, um, great job performances to those people, but it wasn't enough to save it. It was hard to follow. I mean, like, very hard to follow. This one was another about the past, present, and future. Yeah. And it was like, this was even more confusing than Infinity Pool. The black hole. Oh yeah, the black was hole was past, present, futurey. But this one is more all about past, present, and future. It's like mm -hmm. shoved it all together, even more than uh, the black hole. The black hole was more than was more about past and present, but this is more about future stuff and how technology changes. And, you could see that in there. You could tell what when it was future and when it was past because they dressed appropriately and mm -hmm. technology was uh, there. But so, it was all just together. What'd you give Cloud Atlas? <sighs> I gave it a one. Thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, I did not watch this film. Certain These types of films, like me with... Um, period pieces that I'm not a big period piece fan when it comes to futuristic films especially something like this like this like a battlefield earth like a mortal engines I like the mortal engines so did I but yeah. I'm just saying even though mortal engines bombed at the box office oh. certain movies like that they're real really tough for me to grab and this one even with the cast I it just I sorry Tom Hanks yeah, you did fabulous but well said. Could it just didn't anything. grab me. It, di it didn't grab me enough to watch it. I've owned this movie for years. Mm -hmm. I bought it at a flea market for like a buck. And even that, I mm -hmm. still, it just sat on the shelf. It was no walk in the clouds. You know? No, that it wasn't. <laughs> this next one. Spoiler, we watched that today. Yeah. Anyway, this next one I did not watch. It's all you. It's all me. This was one of my late night watches. This is a movie from 2014. It's 125 minutes. And it is... Welcome to New York. And this has Gerard Depardieu and Jacqueline Bissett. <clears throat> I'm a big fan of both of them. Jacqueline Bissett, I think she's a great actress. Gerard Depardieu is a great actor. This movie, 
when I first uh, picked it up, it looked interesting. Again, if I remember right, this is a Dollar Tree special. Oh, boy. And um, this film, first, it is subtitled. It is completely all in French. That's the first thing. And it's about Gerard Depardieu, that he's in, a.k.a. New York. And um, he gets arrested for um, something that happens with a maid. And Ooh. I won't say too much of the story, but it's just pretty much um, everything to do with that. It's, you know, it, there's a lot going on. It's a pretty much a decent movie. The part that I had an issue with was just the subtitles. I didn't really care for. Maybe it was just the night that I watched it. I just wasn't into reading a film. But So that made you... Um... Not feel the storyline as much. Yeah, as the story. I just the story. You know, usually when it comes to crime dramas, I'm really into them. But this one just didn't really grab me that much. It didn't. I just I thought the story was kind of weak. The story was eau de toilette. Yeah, but <laughs> because of that, I'd give it pretty much a one and a half. I thought it was okay. I thought it was a good premise of the story, but like I said, I just didn't really grab me. I, I don't think uh, both of them really as dramatic actresses for this type of film. I just don't think it really worked. You should get somebody like Pierce Brosnan or something. Maybe. I if don't you can speak French, but... Oh, well. Maybe maybe like... The uh, Pardue doesn't get more French than that. Yeah, I was, I'm thinking maybe like the guy from Leon the Professional. Maybe somebody like him would be good to do this because I know he's French. Alright, these next one are two few i mean these next few are the forgotten few and this is a treat because these got forgotten on the shelf in the bedroom <laughs> and one of them the last one i'm gonna do it took me four months to watch i'm not lying no i'm not a tiger either no. but anyway the first um, one you can do the first one First one's from 2015. It is 92 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's a movie that Marie watched. I did not. I actually liked it. It was a good one time watch. It's more about zombies and vampires. Yeah, and it is Freaks of Nature. It is actually um, mostly zombies and how um, the society is changing and zombies interacting with vampires. And it has deleted scenes and some gag reels that I watched and I enjoyed. But the alternate opening. Uh, opening was really good. It explains a little more. And that is actually something on the bonus features that I did in indeed check out. So if you like Freaks of, Na uh, Freaks of Nature, check out the alternate opening scene. Pretty good. Yeah. Me, I'm not a big horror comedy guy. Mm -hmm. So again, it's something that it didn't really gravitate towards me. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. There's not a lot of a big bus in there. I don't know why they're all on a bus. but I don't know. Uh, what'd you give this one? I gave this one a two because it was an enjoyable watch. Mm -hmm. I might have kept it, but do I need it? No. No, I'm sorry. Mm. This next one, if you need a brand, well, an almost brand new copy. I basically watched it four or five times. I literally watched the beginning of this next one. Four times because it took me so long to watch it. I needed a refresher, and it is a read. Movie Hunter, don't don't hurt me. But it's a tin book. It's from Lionsgate, and, and it, it is ran with that clear slip. Yep. Show them the slip action. The eyes are red for a reason because that's this is the father in the movie, and he really does look like that at some points in the movie. But this steel book is like fire. The back is amazing. You can't really see it with the slip on it, but. Yep. It's really pretty. And I am so close to saving it for just to have a tin book on the shelf. I really am because, you know, it's the first hype of when Lionsgate started to do their awesome press releasing. Yeah, it's yeah first and it says press. first pressing on it. This is not the re-release that just came out. This is, we uh, got We got this. it like day one, yeah. almost. But I'm not going to save it just for the artwork, even though I like it. But the movie was, the movie bombed me. It is a read. Anyway, ran from 1985, 160 minutes. Felt like 226 minutes. Thousand minutes. <laughs> Literally, because it took me two months to watch. Granted, we have a nice comfy mattress. And the 4K quality in ran 
is worth it. I mean, the way the grass sways and everything, the trees and the fire at the end, so, something burns and it's, it's like cool to me. I'm like, look at that, it's burning. It's sad, but it's cool the way the whole thing goes up in flames. But anyway. I want I, I want to interject real quick. Like there it. was one part a long time ago when Marie was watching it that made me laugh that I still remember. She goes, they shouldn't have called this movie Rain. They should have called it Snail because that's how <laughs> slow this movie is. I did. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I had a comfy bed and I was watching it at night on 4K and I would get through 20 minutes and of reading this and I would nod off. And I would try again like two nights later and I'm like, no. And then a couple weeks, I just let it collect dust <laughs> for two weeks on top of the player. He's like, you know, you got to watch this. And then I took it off the player and put it back on the shelf. Oh, yeah. So Ran is like, Turbo, eat your heart out. The little boy's been watching Turbo lately. But yep. anyway, that made his show Turbo. But Ran, no. If you really enjoy a story about a crazy dad and who steps son. down from his uh, position as Lord or whatever, I forget it. I want to forget this movie. But the weird things that happen between the marriage and the, the deaths of um, people... I just want to say he has sons and his sons are married and the relationships and if you've seen it you know but the 4k quality in this is there i love the color it was beautiful um they, they have uh guys on ponies you know but yeah. um the color is great story is sh not for me um, it was great cinematography i'll give it that yes and this slip he he looks crazy at the end people die Lots of people die. I'm just going to say that. I don't want to spoil it or anything. I'm getting my fingerprints all over this. But mm -hmm. if you wipe it down, it is basically a mint copy. I almost want to hang on to this. But I'm not going to hang on to it just to collect it. Because I'm going to collect it. I want to collect it because I'm actually going to watch it. Mm -hmm. Except for one movie where I don't watch every single copy. And if you know, you yeah. know. I have a lot of copies. A lot of copies of that one. But Ran is going to... Run right off our shelf. Run away. So what'd you give it? I gave that one a three because of the steel book and the story. It had an amazing story, but was he slow? Yes, he was so freaking slow. It was ridiculous. It was like snail slow. It took yeah. me four months to watch it, and I'm not lying. But that is mm -hmm. everything that we have for this. It didn't make the shelf. Some... Yeah, I would watch it again. I'd be like, ah, uh, no. Some DVDs. Some Blu-rays, and for the first time ever, a, a steel, steel book that's leaving the collection. With a slip. And that is all of it right there. Up for grabs. Oh, yeah. So if anybody is interested in any of those, in the description down below mm -hmm. is both of our Instagrams as well as my email. If you're interested in any of these, let me mm -hmm. know. And if you want to yell at me for getting rid of an awesome steel book, go yeah, right ahead. I just we'll, don't want to collect the collection. We'll wheel and deal, and mm -hmm. we'll, we'll figure something out, and I'll ship it right out But there. Movie Hunter, if your copy is not mint, this one is opened, and but it's You know mint. Movie Hunter's is mint. He probably oh, bought okay. three copies to get a mint copy. But I just want to make sure he's covered for a first release if he yeah. needs one. But In case his suffered a fall off of the shelves. But that is... <laughs> because it's so heavy, he's got too many. But that is pretty much everything That's right it. there. That's it. Nine titles. Yep. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, video before and after. I rambled too much. After. I'm sorry. I was if a chatterbox tonight. If you want to tonight. leave a description uh, comment down below about any of these titles. Have you mm -hmm. seen them? What do you think of them? Do you like them? You Are know? you just saving the Lionsgate steelbooks just to collect them even though you don't like the movies? That's yeah. okay. I yeah, want to know about it. Is. it. You know, did you have the same thoughts as we did about some of these films? You know, let us know. But until next time, guys. Bye. Cloud Atlas, man. Oof. That's probably one of the worst ones in there. Confusing. Side six of the Mayo. Confusing as...